If you're watching this channel, it's because you don't enjoy watching the world squander what Christendom built, but you want to do your part. And chances are you've heard me mention a great means by doing just that. Email made by and for Catholics. Check out fide.email. That's F-I-D-E-I dot -E email. Built for Catholic individuals, families, organizations, and groups. They're private, secure, and of course, they're Catholic. And they're offering two months off on your first year for an annual subscription if you enter the coupon code return to tradition without spaces that's the name of this channel without spaces at checkout one of the things that we're used to as catholics living in the world is our faith being mocked it happens in some subtle ways uh, sometimes it happens when you encounter a protestant who has believed all the weird things that their bible quote-unquote believing pastors have taught them even though they have no authority to teach them anything about the faith or anything else, really. But they have taught them some weird ideas about Catholicism. And you're used to fielding questions and accusations against them. I see it in my comments all the time. Protestants who think they're spreading the gospel, saving those Catholics, as they call us sometimes. You know, we see that. Um, but we're used to, at least here in the United States, we're used to dealing with the peculiarly American sort of attacks on the faith, brought to you by uh, groups of Protestants that really only exist in America and culturally are a weird American phenomenon. We also see this from secular groups in America. You remember the uh, group of um, people who were mocking nuns last summer, that Bishop Strickland was one of the very few high-ranking prelates who went to go and stand in opposition to with a group of laity outside that one baseball stadium last summer. We're used to that kind of thing. We have a story like that here, unfortunately for you today. It comes from Italy, where this is causing a storm of controversy. And I got the I got a, a tip to this from a viewer in Italy. So we're going to go to this, and um, it involves a television commercial, and I will not show you the television commercial. I'll put a link to it if you really want to see it, but it mocks the Eucharist. Uh, yeah, so I did a little digging, and the company in question is a is an Italian company. They're not they're not owned by PepsiCo or Coca Cola or anything like that. So if you are in Italy, let me know in the comments with how what it's like, what kind of pushback you're seeing on this, and if people aren't really purchasing their products anymore. Because in the United States, when we've seen common sense attacked by big business, people have stepped up and started canceling memberships or. They've ceased purchasing products of the things in question. So let me know if you are in Italy or if you are very familiar with the story, what's happening in Italy with this. So with all that having said, let's start with a report from Avenir, an Italian news site. And they give you a description of the commercial this way, so we don't have to worry about it. Quote, Christ reduced to a fry, debased and vilified like 2,000 years ago. At least on social media, a more, quote, respectful version is on TV. Amica Chips once again chooses provocation as communication, which on TV stops on the threshold of the sacred, while on social media it becomes blasphemy. You can go around it all you want, with words like provocation, ironic, and transgressive language, but in fact this is the new commercial for Amica Chips created by the Lorenzo Marini Group Agency. In short, the create, creative idea on social media is this. A group of novices are at mass, and at the moment of communion, when the first in line closes her mouth after receiving the Eucharist, a cracking sound is heard. Looks of surprise from the nuns and priest. In the pics, in fact, instead of hosts, there are chips. The next shot reveals the mystery. It was the older nun who was munching on a bag of chips who placed them having previously found the pics empty. The final slogan, while the notes of Schubert's Ave Maria sound in the background, is Friend Chips the Divine Every Day. End quote. So there are various versions of this, with one featuring the nun receiving the Eucharist, but even that one is disrespectful. Again, I can't believe I have to tell people this, especially say, saying this in theory to people who come from a Catholic culture, but the Eucharist is not a tool for marketing. It's not. You, you, you should not use the Eucharist in that way. And that's what they're doing. But beyond that... That social media campaign was designed to get people to talk about it with the idea that if they get people talking and being angry about it, it will somehow drive chip sales. What they haven't figured out yet is sometime in the last couple of years, not just Americans, but people around the Western world have kind of snapped a little bit on this. We're tired of reality being mocked. We're tired of our, our faith being mocked. We're tired 
of all of it. And so when people mock the faith, where they endorse wacky ideas that reject fundamental basics of reality, we stop consuming their products. I would assume that's happened here in Italy, but I haven't found any anything like that with this story yet. So I'm curious, if you are in Italy, let me know what's going on with this. The uh, it's gotten to the point now in the United States where there are certain there are certain uh, corporations that have done similar kinds of things, but without attacking the faith, but instead attacking reality and basic decency. That you can't even say their names on social media anymore without getting into some kind of trouble. It's kind of gotten weird about this. But there's a couple high-profile ones, including a beverage company in the United States that last year got into all kinds of trouble, and they're still suffering for it. And now there's a gym chain in the United States that's having similar kinds of problems, and they're suffering for it too. So let me know in Italy if people have stopped purchasing these products. But now let's go to the actual part of the story here, which gives you some more details. So we go to La Repubblica, which is a mainstream new Italian news website for those of you who aren't in Italy. Headline. Blasphemers, do it with redacted name of the leader and founder of that other religion that is now showing up in large numbers in Italy. Chip instead of host in the commercial, reign of criticism and request for suspension. Yes, people are putting their foot down and demanding that the company behind this and the the manufacturer of the chip and the marketing company that they, and the TV stations all stop broadcasting these ads and that the people behind it pay the pay some sort of price for it. We'll see if that's what happens with this. So again, let me know in the comments if you're in Italy what's going on. It's from the article. Quote, We are in a monastery. Some nun files towards the altar to receive the Eucharist. When receiving communion from the priest, the nun's eyes widen while she hears a crunching sound of a potato chip. It's blasphemous. The accusation of the new Amica Chips advertising campaign comes directly from AART, Italian Association of Radio and Television Listeners, which calls for the, quote, immediate suspension of the commercial as it offends the religious sensitivity of millions of Catholic practitioners, as well as outrageous and trivializing the comparison between the chip and the consecrated particle. Giovanni Obaggio, president of AART, lashes out against the company, defining the advertising message as, quote, painful and blasphemous. The content was reported to the Advertising Self-Discipline Institute, that'd be a government agency, as, quote, contrary to Articles 1 and 10, Loyalty of communication, moral, civil, religious beliefs, and dignity of the person, of the self-disciplined code of commercial communication. The Amica Chips commercial is a lack of respect and creativity, as well as a sign of the inability to do marketing without resorting to symbols that have nothing to do with consumption and crunchy food, continues the president of AART. Get a round of applause to a compliant public with blasphemous references. It is degrading to those who do or claim to do advertising, end quote. In other words, this is a... He's saying this is th this is an insult to the faith, this is an insult to the intelligence of the audience, and this is the, an insult to the advertising industry itself. The whole thing's in poor taste, and actually apparently may violate some either laws or at least, you know, beer, you know bureaucratic uh, rules regarding how advertising is can be done in Italy. They're calling for the ad to be pulled, and not just the main ad, the social media ad is the spiciest one, the one that's the one goes after the faith the hardest. But there's a TV one where there's a nun who is shown receiving the Eucharist instead of a chip. All of it should go. All of it should go. And it's good that you're seeing even now related organizations coming out against this. But the social media response was what you might expect. We're going to be careful here, though. Back to the article. Quote, Meanwhile, the public is divided on social media after the company, company published the video. Elegant and memorable, Alfredo's comment. But there are many negative messages, like Lily's. Quote, There's no point in being so blasphemous, offensive, diabolical. Do you want to make a lot of money by comparing the wafer with a potato chip? So congratulations on your lack of sensitivity, intelligence, and common sense. So it's easy to advertise in a crude and blasphemous way. And Anna's comment is provocative. Try it if you have the courage to make fun of the redacted name of the founder of that religion, followed by many people who are showing up in Italy in larger and larger numbers every day. And let's see what happens. The important thing is that we talk about it, right? Strength with other religions. End quote. In other words, why not make fun of that other religion and its founder, who has many strong-willed and easily provoked adherents living in Italy right now? 
Oh, wait, I just answered the question why you won't do that, because you know they won't put up with this the way that Catholics do. Catholics put up with this stuff, and we shouldn't put up with this stuff. But as Christians, we won't go running immediately to the response that the, those other folks would have if it was they their beliefs that were being gone after. So instead, I would suggest, if you are living in Italy, and people are still purchasing that product even though they're angry at the company for the advertising, maybe it's time to stop. I'm sure you can find other chips, other Italian brands out there that make chips. I'm not telling you to buy an American one, I'm just telling you if you're going to eat that stuff anyway, and you are upset with what they're doing, maybe buy another chip. It's a simple solution. It takes it takes no effort whatsoever on your part to send a message here. But I'm curious, what do you here in the United States or in Europe, Canada, outside of Italy, what do you think about this story? Are you surprised at all to see this? You probably aren't. I mean, at this point, we've seen this kind of thing and worse. I mean, again, those nuns last summer in Los Angeles who were apparently recently treated uh, with as if they were dignitaries, they had representatives in a meeting in Europe here a few weeks ago. Didn't report, didn't report on that, but that happened. And they were met with as if they were dignitaries. So we see this all the time. People going after the faith. It's the easiest thing to do. It's the last great thing that you, evil thing that you're allowed to do. The one group that you are always allowed to make fun of are Christians and especially Catholics. But I'm curious what you think about all this. In the, so let me know in the comments, please. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't. It does help. So to sharing this on social media, it does help too. And for those who want to uh, assist in that fundraiser that's being that somebody started for me, actually, because of my big announcement on Easter, there's a link in the comments and probably in the description box below. Thanks for your support. It's great. It's greatly appreciated. And as always, pray for the church. I'm Anthony Stein. Ave Maria.